feet. Pull it up. Oh no! Well, good day, everyone. Thanks again for uh, joining us today. Um, back in the seaplane and uh, really enjoying actually spending a bit of time in the with the floats um, and doing a bit of practice with the floats. Uh, it's really interesting. So um, if you get the opportunity, give it a crack. It's not too bad. Um, I'm going to stay here in Australia, place that I've been to before. Uh, in it's the Whit Sundays on the um, in Queensland, far north Queensland, on the east coast of Australia. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of island hopping um, today, and uh, got a flight plan that takes us from where we are at the moment, parked up in front of Daydream Island, and I'm um, going to go via Hamilton Island, Long Island. I'm going to go to a seaport, which I cannot remember the name of, <laughs> and then finish up at Long Island Seaplane Port, wherever that is. So it's about 50 nautical miles all the way around, and um, obviously I'll just cut to the good bits for you guys uh, and edit all the crap out. All right, well, um, before I take off um, and get ourselves underway, a big shout out to Glenn Watson, one of my subscribers. Uh, I was struggling with the uh, rudder. Um, well, I couldn't actually work out where the rudder control was uh, for this, um, you know. And again, and I just assumed that I was doing it wrong. But as it as it happens, there is actually a control in X plane for the rudder. Uh, and so I map that control to a switch that I've got, um, just on a toggle switch that I've got a series of toggle switches under my trim wheel here, and I've now mapped one to rudder, toggle rudder on or off. So thanks, Glenn. Uh, really uh, makes a bucket load of difference, as you'll see in a moment when we look to start the taxi. All right, uh, let's get ourselves underway and um, fire this thing up. And um, we're just going to cruise around here for a little bit. Um, now, as you can see, see that? I don't have any rudder control really at the moment, which was really the frustration. But thanks to Glenn, now I do. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Daydream Island traffic, Cessna 172, Juliet Alpha Echo rolling, runway 10 straight out, Daydream. All the floats back. Rudder off. Air speed's alive. Speed's coming up. So we'll just circle around here, this island here, and then we'll uh, make our way over to, um, where's our next stop? Hamilton Island, nine miles. Someone 
there for a second. resort down there and uh, and the airfield to our left and I've landed there many many years ago well, I've not landed there but I've been here before um, probably about 20 years ago uh, I remember it was a uh, Jetstar flight I think at the time uh, we didn't stay here, my wife and I, we stayed at uh, Daydream where we just left off. Um, this, this is certainly the better of the two, Hamilton Island. Looks lovely. Lindemann Island, Cessna 172, Juliet Alpha Echo, inbound from the northwest at flight level 1500 and will overfly the island before continuing through to the southwest Lindemann. So we've got winds coming in. That direction uh, easterly, so we want to be making sure we're sort of around that side of the island. Um, actually, there's a nice little island there we can probably land at. Why don't we try that over there? Take that down the, uh, the strut there. Just turn it around. Currently sitting at a thousand. That's a tile line or something. 
That's pretty cool. Nice work, Lamina. Let's see if we can um, hang it out a bit here. Look at that. How cool is that? Oh, we've got some S's going on. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. No, no! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> See what happens when you try to act like an idiot? Oh, I'm going to have to start again. Oh, bugger. Let's see if we can land over this one, but before we hit the next one. <laughs> Very hard to judge in the uh, when you've got no reference. Second notch of flaps. Temperatures and pressures looking good, all in the green. Feet. Eight hundred feet. this hill and then plonk it in 600 feet Descending too fast, couldn't get it up, nose hit, topple. Geez, these seaplanes are hard. Anyway. Seaplane debrief. So what have I learnt with that little one? Even though it was purely for a little bit of fun, it's also... Um, good to, to learn a little bit as well and certainly a couple of key takeaways with that one um, mainly in the landing um, well no even in the takeoff I've noticed in the takeoff because of the I think you know you get a bit of um, what's I don't know if it's called surface tension or something but get, just getting yourself off off the floor off the water is actually quite hard there's that natural tendency to suck you in uh, and so um, you know, lifting it off was a little bit difficult, um, even though I lightened all the payload and everything right back. Uh, but yeah, that that was noticeable. Certainly, much much different to the land, which you would expect. Um, and then the landing. You know, uh, you know, unlike on a land landing, uh, land-based landing, um, where you can be a little bit more forgiving. You know, if you're a bit more forward than sort of, you know, touching fully back and then coming down in the seaplane. You know, you've really got to, you know, get that get that back down first and sort of, you know, f f glide it in, but not too much so it slams either. You know, you can't have it sort of go bang, bang. You've got to really sort of 
try and kiss it down nicely. And that's a bit of a, takes a bit of practice. I got uh, the first one, as you noticed, was okay. Um, but uh, yeah, second time trying it on that other one, just really, really hard. Um, and then the other thing, which was really cool, but obviously, look, you know, I was being a bit silly, just having a look at actually the wake that was being created, you know, by the uh, by the floats doing the left and right. But obviously, doing that, increasing the speed, pretty much like the same on the land uh, one. You know, you start to get a bit of wobble and overturn, and then bang, over she went. Um, but what that showed with all of that is that, and this one of the main reasons that I love X-Plane, because the flight dynamics and the physics, I can only imagine, they are spot on. Um, and uh, look, hats off to Austin and Lamina, because it's really, really good. Um, so, you know, if, if you, if you want to give yourself something different to try, jump in a seaplane with the floats and... Um, and give it a try. And uh, I'd love to actually see some others um, in the sim, or even if there's any pilots out there that are using seaplanes for real, um, I'd love to see that footage because, uh, yeah, these are really good fun. Um, and I'm going to do a bit more of this um, going forward. So anyway, yeah, lot to learn. Um, takeoffs and landings, probably more so the landings. Um, and so I think uh, what I might do is. Um, do another video at some point, go to a nice location and actually do some circuits uh, on a seaplane um, and see how we go with that. All right, guys, thanks for that. See you next time. Bye for now.